You may be familiar with co-working spaces where everyone spends all day reading and writing code, but this co-working space is slightly different. Their code isn't a computer language, it's DNA. GenSpace is a community biolab. It grew out of the DIY bio movement, and it is essentially a fully functional molecular biology lab. It's its own standalone 501c3 nonprofit. Jorgensen says GenSpace was designed as a place for scientists to tinker and play, mostly on speculative projects that may not see financial reward. It's very hard to find a space, a lab space, that's um, cheap and accessible. It's a lab that basically opens the doors to anybody to come in and work on their projects. So you don't have to fill out a grant. You don't have to justify your project. Jorgensen and her colleagues each put in $100 a month to fund the rent in a cooperative office building in Brooklyn. They brought in recycled materials to build out the space and purchase needed equipment secondhand or from donations. The types of projects we get maybe are either more speculative or there's something that isn't necessarily going to immediately turn into something like a financial reward, but they may be really interesting in terms of saving the planet or whatever. One thing that I'm working on right now in collaboration with a colleague of mine who's uh, at the Rhode Island School of Design is a biosensor device to detect toxins in drinking water. So this is a complete uh, synthetic biology-based project. You don't need to be a scientist to join GenSpace. They offer crash courses in subjects like biotechnology to get anyone up and running with the lab's facilities. We do a biological survey to start the projects. And sometimes the, the plants are hard to identify. So I've taken some of those samples here and you can just do a, a very simple sequencing that zooms in on one particular area of the organism that's unique and identify it without the assistance of, uh, of a specialist, which sometimes are really hard to come by. Everything at GenSpace is legal. They are considered a biosafety level one lab by the CDC, which means the materials they work with are not known to cause diseases in healthy adults and are not hazardous to the lab or environment. It's like a high-end high school science lab. You still have to wear goggles and gloves. It's like a playground. Engineers and scientists do what they do because they love what they do. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, New York.